Mine looks way better. Cookies and cream compared to, I don't know, some fruit juice. Ugh. Also, if people walk past and don't pat him now, he's like, what are you doing? Why don't you like me? <laughs> Well, we are really liking our time at Marshall Ski Lake, but unfortunately, we're only going to be able to stay two nights instead of three because they're shutting this place down. So we've got a bit of a big driving day again today. Uh, what is it like, nearly two hours? So we're heading up towards Beerwa. It's a little bit further than that. It's a camp called Max and Digby's. So we're gonna go check that out for the next couple of nights, see what it's like, and if it is good, we might even stay a few more. Now it is a camp that lots of people have recommended to us on Facebook and Instagram. So hopefully you're right. Yeah. And if you're not, I'm gonna be angry. Yeah, we're not gonna take any more of your recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. So like I said earlier, we booked in that Max and Digby's camp, I think it's called. And we were waiting for a text from the lady today because she's meant to text you on the day uh, with all the details and a pin for the location of the property. And we haven't received anything. We've called her a few times, we've texted her. So we're gonna have to do something else because it's already two o'clock in the afternoon and we have no correspondence from this lady. So now we've got another camp. So we were just talking to another couple of people at the dump point and water fill up. I know what a lovely place yeah, to hang out and have a chat. chat. <laughs> and there's a place called the Block on the Hill. Yeah, um, not so it's far about, from... It's about 10 k's east of Biwa. No, west of Biwa, sorry. So this spot is actually really nice. We're set up right next to the creek. It's a big grassy area. There's plenty of space so that you're not too close to everyone, which is a nice change from last night. And yeah, just really good. We didn't end up getting a uh, call from the other camp but it was a bit too late. So when we were at the shops today, Chelsea goes, oh, I'll go grab a leg of lamb so that we can have a roast tonight. And I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds good. So she went and grabbed it, come back, and I looked at it just before, and it's actually pork. So we're doing a pork roast for dinner tonight. So this morning we have driven into the town of Mullaney and things are looking a little bit different now. Do you want to see the first shop we're having a look in? Yeah, so everyone gets a turn at shopping, so <laughs> it's Juice's turn this morning. Yeah. Oh my god, Juice! Alright, pick something now. Which one do you want? So how cool is this? I've just found a roadside pottery stall. I bet you haven't heard of that before. Have a look at this. It's obviously all homemade pottery. And just $5. How cool is this? There's some really funky little uh, original mugs. I just can't get over this. That's so cool. Which one shall I pick? So we just got some rolls from the bakery in Mullaney and we pulled up near a platypus viewing. We're gonna have a bit of lunch, um, get rid of the, what is it, the hangries? Hangries. And then uh, we're gonna go check out and see if we can see some platypi. See, plural of platypus, we're gonna see the heaps of them. Seems like a good spot for lunch anyway. So at the platypus viewing platform, we ended up seeing two of them out there swimming around. They're actually a lot bigger than what we were expecting and you could see them super clear in the water. Definitely worth coming to this platypus viewing in Mullaney. Right near Mullaney is Gardner Falls and it's a nice little walk at the moment. We're just having a little bit of a stroll to the waterfall, but it's a really beautiful area. I mean, probably not warm enough for a swim considering the water's probably gonna be ice cold. What, you're saying you're not gonna hop in? No. Oh. Uh, just before Chelsea was saying, oh, I'd love to do another cold plunge. That's me. I'm just like a cold plunger now. But... You're lying. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, I probably How should do it. How about we watch Bryce? Well, I mean, I wasn't volunteering. <laughs> it was ice. Quite a bit of algae in the water we've noticed and it also seems like everyone's just coming down here for a wash. Yeah, there was quite a few whiz bangs. Um, if you know what they are, then you'll know. But yeah, they sort of come to look here for a bit of a, a wash maybe, I'm not sure. Doesn't look that appealing. <laughs> Okay, 
And here you go, here is Gardner Falls. Actually looks like quite a nice deep pool to swim in. If you were gonna have a plunge, I think this is the one right down the bottom. So we're coming out to the Mary Cancross Rainforest Walk. Um, it's about a 1.7 kilometer loop. And we're just gonna go have a little bit of a walk around. It is very pretty, very rainforesty, surprisingly. <laughs> but um, yeah, just super green and lush. They have also got a cafe here and a bit of like a hands-on center where they show you different displays um, and you can watch the movies and stuff. And a big lookout too, but let's hope the GoPro doesn't run out of battery. <laughs> yeah, we're on like 25% right now, so hopefully we can do the whole walk before it runs out. So we're walking through and I spotted a snake and then I just spotted a wallaby and Chelsea's like, I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> and I'm the colorblind one. <laughs> but check out this fella, he's just hanging out here. He does blend in very well. I reckon he's got a joey in his pouch. Oh, awesome. Hello mate. Yeah, he definitely does. Well, she does, should I say. He's just here. Well, the battery survived the walk. And now we're doing the Glasshouse Mountains lookout. Well, kind of a lookout, it's just above a big cafe. It's really cool. You can see yeah. heaps from here. All right, gate girl. Out right, you hop. She does that every time. I'll show you how much space is down there. There was about a metre either side still, and every time she always goes, Oh my God, you're going to be too close. You're going to hit it. Don't. Was I going to hit it, was I? Oh, it looked like it. You look like you're about this far off. <laughs> That's right. I got, got proof of it in the mirror. It was about half a metre. Oh. <laughs> what do you reckon, Juice? Was she overreacting? Yeah, I thought so too. Well, this is a mug I ended up buying from the $5 little pottery store yesterday. Super cute. And it's gonna be perfect for my morning coffee. We are heading out of camp this morning. Unfortunately, we could only stay two nights here because we do have another booking down the road and we need to get juice vaccinated and do a few other errands. Although before we leave town, we are gonna get new tires for the caravan. So very conveniently, the owner of this property also owns a tire business in the local town. Yeah, so we thought, well, we might as well use him because he's local. Um, you might as well use the people you know along the road. Um, and we are going up a tyre size too. So we've got 185R14s and we're going to go up to 195. So we should get maybe uh, half an inch or so extra out of the tyres. So we'll see if it makes any difference later on. No spiders? No, no spiders. Chelsea wouldn't take the spare wheel cover off because she was a bit afraid. <laughs> of course I was. Look how dirty it is. Crazy how much dust gets sucked into them. So the main reason why we're getting new tyres is because we've noticed a bit of poor wear on the outside shoulder. We generally rotate them every five or 7,000 Ks, but um, unfortunately it hasn't really helped to save them. So we're gonna go get them swapped over. So we've got the tires all fitted thanks to BUR Discount Tires. Um, he sorted us out, we went up a size and they look really good. I probably should have checked some more stuff and measured some stuff, but yeah, so we went from a 185 R14 to a 195 R14. So a little bit higher, a little bit wider, and uh, yeah, should be really good. We're also staying at Marshall Ski Lakes tonight. Uh, we're here for the next couple of nights. We've got Juice getting his vaccinations tomorrow. And yeah, it's just a nice close spot to the Sunshine Coast where we can go hopefully cruise down the beach, have a look around and explore this little spot. So I'm pretty sure this is only $30 a night, no power, no water. Uh, there is some port loos around the place, but when you've got your own facilities, 30 bucks a night's pretty good, I reckon. Absolutely. So far, so good. Not too many neighbors either, which is good. No. 
We're hoping that this place isn't busy because we've read some reviews on the weekend that it's packed and because it's a ski lake, it's also very noisy. Yeah, we are midweek. What is it? Tuesday today? Yeah, Wednesday. Tuesday. Tuesday. It gets hard to keep track of days sometimes. Well, from our campsite, it only took us 15 minutes into... Are we in Malulua? So from our campsite, it only took us 15 minutes to get down to Malulaba to the beach. We're gonna have a bit of a walk and take Juice out for a run. Hey, good boy. Is this nice? Yeah, yeah. So Juice has this love-hate relationship with the ocean water. He really wants to go in, but he gets a little bit scared. enjoying our time at Marshall Ski Lake. Now I'm not going to put any of the information up here because they're actually closing it down. So we wanted to stay three nights but we can only stay two because the council have said that they're not making any money out of this joint so they're closing it down. Super disappointing to hear considering the caravan parks in town wanted $105 a night for two adults and they couldn't even get us in for more than one or two nights at a time. So we were off to a good start this morning. Um, everyone was in good moods and then we we're making a coffee and because I have an iced latte, I grabbed a nice cube out and I happened to break the freezer. Look at that, the door doesn't stay up anymore. So it's actually the door that's broken. It wasn't like one of the spring mechanisms, so which is a bit of a shame because some of it's serviceable, but uh, now we're just gonna be super careful and try and find a replacement. Nothing a little bit of duct tape can't fix. We even got the white one so it matches the door. So it could be a uh, long term fixture. How's this for a lunch spot? Yeah, this is real good. Look at our views. So this is the Maruchi River and you've got Goat Island over here. And what was this island guys? Chambers Island. Chambers Island. I'm pretty sure you can walk over to Chambers Island. It is a little bit noisy here. Maybe it wasn't the best decision. <laughs> That's right. But we got nice views, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna have some lunch, go for a bit of a walk, and yeah, see what happens. Look around the area. We're a little bit stumped at the moment. There's lots of like fun family activities with kids and stuff to do, but I don't know, lots of it's not appealing to us. It's like the big pineapple, there's some uh, Aussie world. We didn't Maze even world. We didn't know these things existed. But we're just going to enjoy the lovely weather on the Sunshine Coast. So today I've been calling a couple of places and we called into a few of them as well and look what I got. A new freezer door. That was pretty lucky that someone had it in stock and it was actually a bit of a bargain. It was only $96.50. So I'm gonna go chuck this in. Now these you have to be very careful with because there's these little spring-loaded pieces, um, very notorious for breaking. So fingers crossed, I don't do the same and break more stuff today. As you can see, these are the little spring-loaded parts and you gotta be very careful with them or they break. So the key to this, I just had to do another little YouTube video just to check, is you've actually got to turn the hinges upside down and then once you've got it in place to tension the door, you actually spin this back up and it clicks in place. The last time I did this, I broke one and had to replace one with a 3D printed one and then that broke and then I eventually had to buy the proper part. So fingers crossed, I don't break one this time. Alrighty, and just like that, it's all fixed. Uh, I managed to get them in without breaking anything, which I'm really happy about because I've broken them before. And check that out. 
much better. We are out at Point Cartwright. So one of our friends told us about this spot and you get awesome views of the ocean and the Sunshine Coast. You reckon they'd let us climb up the top for a good view? There you go, there's stairs. Yeah, reckon they'd let us up there. The stairs, all we need is, we've got the grinder in the car, we can just buzz the padlock off and up we go. Good morning. We have left the Sunshine Coast or the city today and we are at Yamundi. So, Yamundi Markets, it's a Saturday morning and we've been driving around for about 10 minutes trying to find a car park yeah, because we have the caravan on the back. It's pretty hectic. Like, it's good that there's so many people around, but yeah, the parking is. Don't understand quite why we're crazy. meant to where we're meant to park um so there is like designated parking that you can pay for but i don't think it's caravan friendly or there's not any spots because it is so busy today i think hopefully we find a spot and we'll let you know well we have managed to find a park it's a long way from the market so, so it's going to be quite a walk we're getting a bit of a walk in too <laughs> while we're at it um but we found somewhere so we're going to go check it out hopefully it's worth the uh worth the walk and worth the mess around. But yeah, a little tip if you're coming to your Monday markets, maybe don't bring the caravan with you because all the big parking areas don't accept caravans, which is a bit of a shame. So we've got Juice walking quite nicely at the moment, but we are prepared to pick him up as soon as we get close to the markets. Because if it's anything like how many cars are around, this place is gonna be crazy. He's getting plenty of socialisation. Oh, that's for sure. And everyone literally wants to pat him. And also, if people walk past and don't pat him now, he's like, what are you doing? Why don't you like me? Gonna like mine better. <laughs> Why? What's yours? Cookies and cream. Cheers. These are. Mine looks way better. Cookies and cream compared to, I know, some fruit juice. Ugh. Let us know in the comments whose looks better. Pretty sure it's mine. <laughs> Sorry, I just finished my shake. Hope you don't mind. So, your Monday market. You probably just hear the beeping of the traffic in the background. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize that I have this touch of social anxiety until we started walking around there. It's definitely something we should have come here a lot earlier because it is actually hectic. I should have prepared myself mentally for that experience. We are going to be coming back this way maybe in another week's time so we might have another crack on maybe like a Wednesday morning and get up at like 7 30 be here by 8 o'clock yeah. and see what it's like that time. Now I know this doesn't sound like something we'd usually be interested in but we're actually camping at a brewery tonight. Yeah Juice's fifth? Sixth brewery. Sixth brewery in four weeks. This is really bad. We don't actually usually go out to breweries and stuff so much, but it's just been really convenient the last few weeks. Absolutely. And there's been so many good ones. So we are camping at the Subline Brewery tonight. It's um, a hip camp. Looks like quite a few people here, but it's nice and spread out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. What do you reckon this joint? This is so good. $18 a night, just behind the brewery. So we walked in and checked into the brewery and super chill, really nice gardens and that to sit in. So we're gonna head over there this afternoon for just one drink. Well, I'll just have one. I might have one, might have two. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I, I don't like committing to things because then like if you say something and then you don't do it, then you get told off and it's just not worth the hassle. Well, in my defense, they didn't have any cider or sour beers. So the next best option was a margarita. Yeah, coconut margarita, cheers. It's like three standard drinks, so Chelsea's gonna be on her ear in no time. Ooh. So I came to a brewery to get margaritas. Yeah, good. I'm not even mad about it, that's delicious. <laughs> Sublime Brewery is so beautiful and it's even better that you can just camp straight out the back of here so you can have a few drinks, don't have to worry about drink driving or anything. There is so much room. 
just so different to some breweries that we've been to recently. It's just got really good vibes. And it's in this beautiful, lush, tropical garden. Well, we are gonna leave this video here. We are heading to Rainbow Beach this morning and hopefully gonna take the car out for its first run on the beach. If you're enjoying it, make sure to like and subscribe, give us a comment below, and we'll catch you next Sunday morning.